Now this is my new Blu-ray disc. Comes with a remote. And as you see, it's portable. Has a uh, cord as well as other accessories which includes it's got the, uh, the ports to connect it to the TV car charger earplugs if you want to take it on the beach or to the, uh, on the plane travel This one is uh, not bad. It plays DVD and Blu-ray. So you can connect it to your computer or to your TV. So actually, I bought a separate Blu-ray for another television, but I could have just used this. I'm listening to the speaker quality. You can uh, turn the volume up either by the remote. It has a swivel monitor, which means you can, it's kind of hard to turn it, but you see you can turn it, can you see, you can turn, or you can, it's kind of hard to turn it with one hand because I'm trying to hold the camera. But yeah, it's pretty good, the screen is a pretty good size, as you can see I can turn it, I can go back for its up. Uh, Pretty good sound quality. It's not too bad. Like, see, look. It's like the notebook size if you want to carry it. It's not heavy. Very light. 140 bucks. I thought it should have been cheaper, though. You know, I don't like to pay a lot of money. And I'm going to be honest with you. People say the difference between Blu-ray and DVD is the high definition, but... Is there something wrong with me? It just looks the same. Okay, maybe I'm just not looking. Let me see. Maybe it's the glare from my light. Okay, but I recommend it. It's a nice, it's compact, and I can take it to the beach, and it has a car charger, so if you don't have an outlet at the beach, you charge this up, and they say it can last up to, I think, eight hours. So you can watch four movies. Before it'll, and then you can always go plug it back into the car and recharge it. So it's pretty good. So I recommend it, but I just wish it was on sale.